A meantime, many travelers having issues before they even arrive to the airport. We've seen some very long lines, even people camping out overnight as delays to get or renew passports continue right across our country. Joining me now live is the Minister of Families and Social Development, Karina Gould, who is also in charge of passport services with more on what the federal government is doing to try to ease this problem. Mm -hmm. Minister, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, we'll start off with uh, the good news. There has been an increase, a slight increase in how many passports have been uh, processed, the applications that have been processed week over week recently, which is great. But what is behind this now? Is it the new staffing that is being hired and actually being implemented in these Service Canada locations? Yeah, so there's a number of different things that are happening that's seeing an increase in speed and in service. So first of all, at passport offices across the country, particularly in busy centres like in Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, Calgary and Edmonton, we have a triage system in place for the last three weeks. Um, as of 7 a.m., there are teams of managers on site triaging people based on urgency of travel. Um, and then if they're not traveling urgency, giving them an appointment to come back at a later date date. So there really is no need to camp out or to get there super early in the morning because everybody who is there will be seen and will be served. Um, and then we've hired hundreds of new um, passport officers and are in the process of hiring hundreds more. Um, and then also streamlining the work that they're doing to make sure that passport officers are really focused on the jobs that only they can do with their special level of skills and training. And so we've seen week over week um, continued increases in the number of passports that are being issued. And we need to keep doing that um, to really make sure that Canadians are getting their passports in a timely way. Now, we've seen these lineups for weeks now of people um, camping out outside of passport offices. What took so long to implement this triage system or to get these new tools in place in order to speed this process up? Yeah, so this triage system has been in place uh, for about three weeks now, and we've seen that it is much better at managing the lines than where we were about a month ago at the real height um, of the crisis in terms of what we saw in Montreal leading up to the saint jean um, holiday, which really was extraordinary. We have not seen lineups like that um, anywhere else in the country. Um, but, you know, this, it was supposed to be in place to varying degrees degrees in different parts around the country earlier. Managers were supposed to be doing this work. I think part of it was a lot of the Service Canada staff um, and centres were just overwhelmed by the number of people that were there. And so it really took a coordinated effort to make sure this is a real change in the way that Service Canada um, provide service. And so it took longer than I think it should have, but it is in place now. And I was at the North York Service Canada passport office uh, yesterday in Toronto and saw, you know, how it's working um, and, you know, really seeing that, you know, there even though there were hundreds of people um, in line at the beginning of the day when the office opened, um, you know, by nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, everyone had been spoken to. The lines um, had been triaged, had been moved. People had tickets with an appointment to come back at a, either later that day or another day. Um, and, you know, by, by midday, there really weren't any more lines um, at that passport office. So we're really starting to see that flow uh, a lot better than we did um, previously. And lastly, Minister, uh, we know that uh, since April 1st, you've had well over 500,000 applications that have been processed. But there is a forecast of more than 4.3 million of these applications being put through uh, by the end of the year. How can you get to that point? How is that possible, considering the progress that has been made is not anywhere near that number? Well, so we've had about 800,000 applications um, into the system since April 1st, and over 520,000 of those have, have been mailed out. So there is a backlog, um, and we're getting through that. But the way that we get through that is by hiring these additional folks to the passport lines of business, um, giving them more um, specific and targeted training, and making sure that it's as efficient and effective as possible. So we're having about 500 new passport officers that are going to be, you know, in office working um, either in the processing center or in passport offices over the next couple of weeks. Um, and that's really going to ramp up our ability to process more passports faster. Right. We anticipate that with all of these new people coming online with the streamlining and how we're 
doing the application and processing the application, that we're going to get back to a more normal service standard within the next four to six weeks. And as more people go to passport offices, instead of sending it through the mail, and I really discourage if you can not to send it through the mail. You can go to a Service Canada Centre or to a passport office. If you don't have urgent travel, go to a Service Canada Centre. They can do the intake of the application at check, make sure it's correct, and then give you back your documents. So you're not sending those um, into the mail, I think is, is really important because the mail system is a lot less efficient than in person. And that's one of the reasons why we have this backlog. Um, so we really do anticipate with all the new measures, all the new people coming on board the new systems in place that in the next four to six weeks we're going to be in a much better position and serving Canadians in the way that they deserve. All right, Minister. Thank you so much for joining us again. That is Minister Karina Gould uh, joining us Thank live you. here. Thanks a lot.